Good evening and welcome to the 70th anniversary of this little affair that has been a little bit of something this year, a little bit of something that year, but for the past few years this has been a collaboration between the band, the choir, and to a lesser extent campus ministry. They get to practice all semester to do what they do and I get to walk up and read a poem and a mic, so uh, don't, over, don't overestimate what we do, but please, please get around um, Welcome to our band and choir folks. They work with us. Yeah. I'm Pastor Brian Will. I'm the campus pastor here at Teal, and I warmly welcome you here to spend the evening with us with songs and with poems and with readings to get us inspired for the Christmas season coming. And now, without further ado, I hand it over to our beautiful music department, and they're going to do a couple of numbers for you.
reading from Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 1. Comfort, O oh comfort, my people, says your God. Speak kindly to Jerusalem, and call out to her that her warfare has ended, that her iniquity has been removed, that she has received of the Lord's hand double for her sins. A voice is called, Clear the way for the Lord in the wilderness. Make smooth in the desert a highway for your God. Let every valley be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. And let the rough ground become a plain, and the rugged terrain a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all flesh will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken.
Awaits, a poem by Marcus Margaret de Land. At the break of Christmas Day, through the frosty starlight ringing, faint and sweet and far away comes the sound of children singing. Chanting, singing, cease to mourn, for Christ is born, peace and joy to all men bringing. Careless that the chill winds blow, growing stronger, sweeter, clearer. Noiseless footfalls in the snow, bringing happy voices nearer. Hear them singing, winter's drear, but Christ is here, mirth and gladness with him bringing. Merry Christmas, hear them say, as the east is growing lighter. May the joy of Christmas Day make your whole year lighter, brighter. Join them singing to each home, our Christ has come. All love's treasures with him bringing.
We're reading from Isaiah in the ninth chapter. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this.
and keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terribly frightened. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, <coughs> which will be for all the people. For today in the city of David there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the eyes and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels had gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds began saying to one another, Let us go straight to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. So they came in a hurry and found their way to Mary and Joseph and the baby as he lay in the manger. When they had seen this, they made known the statement which had been told them about this child. And all who heard it wondered at the things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary treasured all these things, pondering them in her heart. The shepherds went back, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as had been told them.
take a moment now and do something that we typically would do at our spring concerts um, prior to our seniors leaving. There is one individual in our choir who will be leaving after this semester to go home to South Korea. Um, she has been a, a, a very, very helpful uh, person, a very kind person, uh, a very liked person. She has, she's friends with everyone on campus. She's helpful to everyone on campus, and I've heard it from so many students. Um, she's been here for, this is her second semester, but I only got to meet her this semester when she enrolled in voice lessons. Um, and after her first lesson, I said, you need to be in choir. <laughs> and to my surprise, that's all it took. And she joined us, and we were all very happy to have her, especially our soprano sections. Um, two of my three seniors last year were sopranos, so we had some shoes to fill, and she stepped right in and did a very, very fine job for us. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, not only did she join the choir, but she also decided to audition for the chamber group, and she earned her spot in that group again and was very helpful. I don't know. I'm, I'm gathering that you want to make the most of your time here at Teal and time here in America. Every opportunity that has arisen, she has taken a hold of and really made a lot of it. We have truly cherished her involvement in the choir. I think I speak for all of us here. She's an excellent soprano leader. She's gone above and beyond to help whenever she was able. And I don't mean just musically. I mean with the, the mundane tasks and the, uh, all, all the help that I needed. She was always there. Um, perhaps one of my favorite things that I appreciated most about her was her willingness and excitement to share the South Korean culture with all of us. Um, through music, we'll hear it in just a minute. Um, my favorite part were the little snacks and treats that she brought me. <laughs> we will miss you so very much. Um, we both have the same emotional problems. <laughs> um, we're all very sad to see you go, and we can't wait to plan a visit in the not so distant future. Mm, can we have a round of applause for Jiwon? I wasn't trying to make her cry before she has to sing. Um, when we were planning this concert, knowing that this was her last performance with us, um, I asked her to think about a Christmas song that's kind of familiar or popular in South Korea. And so she chose one for us. She worked with the choir on our pronunciations, so I guess we'll see how we do. I see some other students out there who will know this song. So you can let us know how we do. Um, the title is Christmas and Chuk Hogur. Is that okay? Okay. <laughs> and then we didn't stop there. I decided to ask uh, that Chiwan sing the solo at the beginning so we can hear um, that Korean language that we work so hard at learning. So, without any more delay, this is Chiwon Byon, and she will be singing the solo of this song that she shared with all of us.
he's still in the back. If you wish to take any with you, please do so. We hope you've enjoyed our Christmas festival. This is the 70th Christmas festival here at Hill College, a very strong tradition that will 